I solved my problems with bullet journaling by putting my bullet journal in a regular journal. Hi everybody, my name is Anne and this is not a video for bullet journal purists because what I've ended up with here is clearly not actually a bullet journal and because I put mine in a Hobonichi Techo, it's a bullet journal in a Hobonichi, so I call it the Hobo Joe. If you want to solve some problems with bullet journaling, maybe a Hobo Joe is just what you need as well. So let me tell you what I loved about bullet journaling. First of all, these all-purpose notebooks were able to really help me accomplish tasks and get a lot of stuff done. This gave me a feeling of sanity and peace that I really enjoyed. Next, I really loved the different types of paper I was able to use. This, for example, is a Midori MD notebook. This one is a Maroman, which is great paper in a bargain price with some nice sturdy covers. Um, I've got a moleskin here as well. These are really nice papers, nice journals to work with, and I liked the feeling of quality. I really loved also that I didn't have to rewrite my to-do list every day. As much as I will always love you, Tony Robbins, that is time I am never going to get back. Finally, I really loved the feeling of freedom that I have with these journals because I could write one page or 20 pages or I could put 20 days on one two-page spread if I really didn't have that much going on. I was totally free to do with these notebooks what I wanted and typically that was a really good thing. But I did have some problems as well. And honestly, those problems come from that freedom because who would have thought with freedom came responsibility. And that responsibility included things like writing the page numbers on every single page of the notebook so that I could keep an up-to-date index and find things. That freedom also included drawing calendars. Like if I wanted a monthly calendar, which I really do, I had to redraw that every month like by hand. And while sometimes I found it interesting or fun, a lot of times that kind of thing was just a lot to do. I also had a hard time with not losing tasks. I felt like in the mess of dashes, dots, circles, arrows going this way and arrows going that way, future logs and past things or whatever, it got really confusing. And I know for sure that I was losing tasks and that gave me a little bit of a feeling of tension around this whole system. And it made me feel like I'm not doing this well enough. And then finally, like this weekly review or monthly review or whatever you're supposed to do, that always seemed to be coming up for me at a time when I was like super busy or alternatively at a time where really there wasn't much to do and there was really not a point to do it. So it kind of was adding to my stress in some ways. And in order to solve that, what I initially did was just move to an electronic system and not do anything with this. Well, that was kind of a problem as well. And the reason that was a problem was because I missed the space. This is a nice open free space that I can use to try to make myself get on top of tasks and be feeling better about things. And I missed that kind of thing. All I had was like this running task list and it was busy and complicated and it felt stressful. So I felt really happy when I finally thought of doing this and I moved into this Hobonichi Techo. Now, let me tell you how this has been solving my problems and also allowing me to retain much of what I loved about bullet journaling in the first place. So this certainly can be an all-purpose notebook. Um, oh, mine is decorated, by the way. This just comes plain. And typically you put it inside some kind of a case or cover to hold it and kind of keep it a little bit protected. But this can definitely be an all-purpose notebook. It looks professional. And in ways that my handwritten calendars in a notebook could never look professional. It feels better to bring this out in public, which I actually think makes this system a little bit more all-purpose because it's better for a little bit more formal occasions or occasions where people might think it's a little weird that you hand drew your calendar and you just don't want to explain yourself. As far as actually accomplishing tasks, I have the same benefit either way, only this way I actually feel like I am losing fewer tasks. In the Hobonichi Techo, at the top of every day, there is a section that has 
check boxes and it's a place where they mean for you to put to-do items. And I totally use it for that purpose. I actually just use this as a running to-do list section. And my to-do list could start on this page, but it will go back through all of the other days that I have tasks that need to be done. Now, don't worry, I am not like going back a month or something to look at my tasks. I go through whenever it feels like I'm having to page back too many pages to see tasks that I need to do. I actually just go back to the beginning of my current task list find any tasks that I want to bring forward. I write them either in empty boxes that I have on some days before where I am currently, or I just extend this to-do section down into the main section of the page here. No problem. And I rewrite all those tasks. Then at the top of the page to which I brought everything up to date, I just write tasks are current up to here. That way when I page back, I'll never have to page back further than that date. I just do it when I have time and it feels necessary and it's actually working out really well. Additionally, of course, I do not have to draw out calendars. At the beginning of this section, there is actually calendars for every single month and it's a very easy layout to use just like pretty much any calendar. As far as having notebooks that I enjoy, honestly, the Tomo River paper or whatever, there was something where they changed the paper. I can't say I understand all this stuff, but the paper seems great. It works super well. It doesn't like show your writing from the opposite side very easily on each page and it really works out nicely. It is a very enjoyable notebook to write in. With any change that you make in a system like bullet journaling, which is like super popular and it works super well in a lot of ways, well, there are things you're gonna lose when you change away from that system to a hobo Joe. And one of the things you're gonna lose is some freedom. The thing that I like about this is that I don't feel like I have to write in every page and fill up the day. I don't obviously number the pages because the pages already have dates and I just use the dates as the number. Instead of making an index, I actually use these pages, which are at the beginning. These pages have a line for every single day of the year, and I can write in there whatever I've put on that page that I may want to come back to later. Now, what if I have 20 pages that I want to write? Well, that is where this system really doesn't work. But I'm going to argue, honestly, that for me, that didn't really work very well with bullet journaling either. Because... If you're going to use 20 pages to write, you're going to have to go back through all of those pages and make sure there's no to-do items on there. Huge amounts of writing like that really don't work well in either system. They're better in bullet journaling, but they really don't work well there either. Now, if I do want to write something that is larger than one page in here, for example, well, many days I write a lot less than one page. So I feel totally free to go back to other empty pages and just add in notes there. I can note in the index what I put where. It works out really, really well. I feel like this system has solved a ton of problems for me. Now, I've got a couple other options for you. First of all, I don't think that the Hobonichi Techo is the only planner that would work. It's working out great for me, but I think there are a ton of other good planners out there. If you want to have a little bit more freedom and a little bit less structure than this, one thing you could consider would be the Hobonichi Day Free. The Hobonichi Day Free has the same beginning as this with the monthly calendar pages, but it does not have any of the day pages. It just has numbered pages. And with the numbered pages, you can put whatever you want on there and it gives you like pretty much just a notebook attached to a calendar. And that might be really great for a lot of people who bullet journal. Additionally, if you want to keep bullet journaling, but you want a monthly calendar that you don't have to draw, there actually is a product that will fix that for you. Midori makes a calendar for, well, they have an undated version and then they have one out for 2024 right now that is just a paper that you stick into your own notebook. So you can use it just like any other calendar, only you put it exactly where you want in your notebook. I think that's actually a really great solution. And if I had known about that, I might have started with that instead of moving directly to this Hobonichi Techo. But I'm super glad I moved to the Hobonichi Techo because it's making things a lot easier for me. If you do want to buy a Hobonichi Techo, there is a lot to know, and you could go and look at tons of videos that describe these differences very thoroughly, but I'll tell you a couple things briefly. First of all, there are about three products that are very similar to this. This is the Hobonichi Techo, and it is the A6 size, you can see right here. It comes in Japanese or English, and there's also a version called Planner that comes in English also, but it has a little bit of differences and it does not have these check boxes up here. So to me, that's not as good. 
This is the A5 size. This is called the Cousin. Again, this comes in Japanese or English. If you want to choose another type of planner to make a hobojo that's not actually a hobonichi, the things that I would look for are this. First of all, it should have enough features on one page to where you can get a lot out of it if you want, but those features should be printed in a light enough ink that you can totally ignore them if you want to. For example, along the edge here, we have the times. The times are written way off to the edge, but I still could certainly use that for planning things out. It's super flexible pages that I really love about this. Some people will like or not like the quotes at the bottom. I think they're okay. I wouldn't mind if they weren't there, but I don't mind that they are there either. The fact that they're in Japanese means that I actually don't go through the hassle of translating them every day, so it's kind of like they're not there. <laughs> if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more interesting EDC content, at least I think it's interesting, from a woman's perspective. Thanks for watching.